more entry data here. Mount towards the What's going on, everybody? This is Bill N4NJJ out of Las Vegas, Nevada. I want to thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already done so, please do me a big favor. Hit the big red subscribe button, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up. Today we are going to look at some photos and videos that I'm trying to clear off my iPhone from the Mount Potosi repeater that I put up with the help of a few hams this past January. The Mount Potosi machine is about 25 miles from Las Vegas um, if you're going towards like the convention center, so right by the strip, and it has phenomenal coverage. This machine covers four states, Nevada, California primarily, as well as some coverage up into Utah, as well as Arizona. Unlike a lot of the hilltop repeaters surrounding Vegas and inside of Vegas, this machine is open to all ham operators that have a license. So anybody is welcome and is encouraged to participate on this repeater as long as they are the courteous ham and are respectful of others, their opinions, their beliefs, and all of that fun stuff. Okay, look, there's a picture of me, yours truly, and 4NJJ right there. So Mount Potosi is about... 25, 30 miles southwest of Las Vegas. This is the Low Potosi communication site. As you can see in the picture, there is the outline of an old AT&T long lines site. Mount Potosi is famous because it is where Carol Lombard met her demise, along with others, tragically on a plane flight to LA. She was going to visit her husband, Clark Gable, Got caught up in a Nevada winter storm and the plane flew right into the side of the mountain. Much of the wreckage, including the engine, is still on the mountain. Uh, only a couple miles from the actual repeater site. It is very, very rough terrain, though, to get there. In the scheme of Las Vegas repeater sites, this site is actually not that bad to get to. I'm obviously not going to give too much information on where it's at. There is quite a bit of wildlife that does live in these mountains. There's a lot more vegetation for them to feed on. The road is maintained. And as you're looking here, you can see Arizona mountains as well as Nevada mountains. And then it doesn't pan over far enough, but you do see California. California is only about eight miles from this site. Okay, in the far left side of the frame, you'll see the outcropping of Mount Potosi that prevents the repeater from really being used or heard in Summerlin. In the extreme northwest part of town, Centennial Hills, Sky Canyon, that outcropping as well as Lone Mountain really do kill the signal. In the next footage you're going to see, you see the strip. It's all lit up there. Sunrise Mountain, Black Mountain. Now we're looking like directly at the M. There's this mountain there. And then Sevic Magic Mountains out towards California. So it took about five trips up the mountain to get this done, and I just love this beautiful sunset footage over the Mojave Desert. You see California, Sandy Valley, it's just totally beautiful footage. Here's Scott, K7RSW, owner of the 448-875 machine in downtown Henderson, putting the antenna on the tower. I personally do not climb, and the owner of this site did not want anybody inexperienced climbing. Scott has a 100-foot communications tower in the back of his yard in downtown Henderson. So he's got a lot of experience climbing towers, and I really do have to thank him. He also made the standoffs, fabricated those out of, I believe, aluminum and painted them that the repeater is stuck to the rack with. So there's me waving. It was a beautiful January day. And only a couple days after this, it snowed, and they got several feet of snow up there. And then the power was out for several days. So that kind of stunk. But uh, here he is working on that antenna. So for those wondering, this is a Radio Frequency Systems 201-7 November fiberglass stick. It has 7.1 dBi of gain. And as you can see, it has a really clear shot into Vegas, especially on the resort corridor. It's great for those that may be coming into the convention center. 
Of course, all the other stuff on the tower belongs to other SCRN club members. And again, there's another beautiful shot of Las Vegas. That's what the antenna sees. So because of the location of this repeater, there's other mission critical infrastructure that's up here, as well as the usual microwave stuff that you'd expect at a site like this. Again, it's a, such a beautiful view of Vegas. Now in this shot here, you can see Mount Potosi. The arrow is pointing actually to the repeater site. You'll see that the low Potosi is significantly smaller than high Potosi, which is the highest part of the mountain. High Potosi is extremely difficult to get to, especially in the winter time. And it is the site of TV, FM broadcasters, as well as a lot of other stuff, including microwave infrastructure, um, and some public safety communications as well. But it is a phenomenal site, and you can really appreciate how high up that is compared to the other site. We got everything done. We got the N4 NJJ repeater online on high, low potency, connected to the K7 RSW repeater. Unfortunately, I don't have any video inside of the radio building, but I do have this photo. That is a 110 watt Motorola Quantar. Due to FCC restrictions at my latitude, this repeater is throttled back. It is putting out 50 watts out of the duplexer. So 50 watts are going up the feed line. It's half inch feed line into the antenna. This repeater does do P25 with a NAC of 702, which is our local area code here in Clark County. And it is on the All Star Link network. It is node number 42631. We encourage and invite anybody anywhere in the world with All Star to connect into this node. We're a good group of people and we're always looking to, to meet new friends. And finally, as we close out, the most important piece of any equipment at a radio site the toilet paper. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to share it. Share it on ham radio, social media, Facebook, and all of those wonderful places. I would appreciate it. If you are visiting Vegas sometime soon, we welcome you back. Please join us on 449.700, which we call the Sin City 700. Thank you very much for staying tuned in this long. This is Bill N4NJJ out.